All right, what is up, guys? Uh, this is Sean Kong, and I am bringing you a very exciting tutorial on a 3D motion track within After Effects. Um, yeah, so you're gonna need After Effects CS6, not CS5, because CS6 has the built-in 3D motion tracker, and that that's what we're gonna be using. Um, and yeah, you're also gonna need a plugin by VideoCopilot.net. It's called Element 3D. I'll put links in the description for that, both of those. And uh, last, I'd like to say that this footage I'm using isn't mine. It's by videocopilot.net. I'll put a description for that so you can get this and work with me as we do this. So yeah, let me just like, I'll show you what we're going to be making right now. And yeah, I'll come back right when that's done. All right, so I'm back and I hope you liked what you will be making well like a preview and uh, yeah so let's get started so first of all you're gonna import your footage so go to file import file and we're just gonna go find our footage so truck vg.mov and we're gonna click it drag it down to the new comp button not these two but this little like play thingy okay and uh, yeah, so now we have our footage, you know, play it, looks pretty nice. All right, so that's what we're going to be tracking. All right, so now you're going to hit your footage and uh, just go to the effects and presets, eh, presets, and just search up tracker or just track 3D camera tracker and then just drag it right onto your scene. And then it'll start analyzing in background. And this will slowly, like, you know, track your scene. And uh, so slowly go up 20, 30, 40%, 9 seconds, 8, 7. And we're still going, you know, taking a while. All right, so now I'm back. And, uh,. As you can see, we have these cool little dots all across our screen. Let's just scrub through. You'll see that they stay with our scene pretty well. You'll see most of them, especially right here and up there, they stay really well with our scene. And uh, yeah, this is what we're going to be using to track in our object. So what you want to do is select, I don't know, one of these uh, little tricky star flowery thingies right click hit create null and camera so this creates a 3d track null right here and also creates a 3d camera well you don't really see the camera but and we're just going to select maybe four or five of these just to work with so choose ones that are on the same perspective as the ground so maybe this one right here right click create null I like this one right here. I don't know why. It makes me feel good. Uh, great. No. Uh, I'm thinking maybe even. Uh, I don't know. This one. I think I already did that one. I don't know. Mm, this one right here. Great. No. And ah, go really far out. Did that one. Great. No. All right. So now we have. I chose five nulls. We're going to select all. And uh, yeah, you'll see that they're tracked into our scene perfectly. And uh, all right. So now, as you see, we uh, we have a couple of these, you know. So now, you I guess you're thinking now we can just track in whatever we have just according to these nulls. So yeah, let's bring in our layer, new, null object, make it a 3D layer, parent it to any of the nulls. All right. And now as I scrub through, you'll see that it just passes by the camera. It's not even tracked in. And this is happening because our scene and our camera, our track nulls and our camera, they're not scaled down to the correct size as our footage. So right now what we have to do is scale it down so when you track it in, it'll be like, it, it, it'll be like the same size. So, so what you want to do now is delete your null, hit layer, create a new null. Null object. All right, make it a 3D layer. Click on your first track null, hit shift, and hold down and click your 3D camera. 
So now you have these tracked and just parent all of these to your null, your first null, null 8, or whatever null you have. So now whatever you change to null 8 will be changed with the rest you have. So what you want to do is go out of uh, cam active camera and go to top view. So now if you scroll out, you see that's your camera right there and that's your scene right here. That's the one I selected back all the way there. And yeah, you'll see that they go really far out. What you want to do is scale it down. So now you're going to hit the null. All right, hit null, hit S and just scale this down. Hit command too, I get no nah, don't hit command or control if you're on Windows. Scale it down to around uh, I don't know. Around a good five, I like to go with that. It depends on what type of footage you're using, but five usually works the best for me. And yeah, so this is scaled down. And if we go if we jump back into the active camera, you'll see, you know, nothing's really changed. <laughs> and it'll work with it'll it'll help but just go out of active camera eh, active camera go to front view now you want to line up all of these so they're on a flat plane so now what you want to do is probably bring up your title action save hit command R or control R if you're on Windows and uh, just bring down your ruler you know zoom in try to line it up perfectly with this with the little plus sign in the middle, that's what you get. And you're going to hit this, hit R, and then you're going to rotate your camera. And so just so these null objects become flat, become lined up with this ruler surface. So hit command or hit control if you're on Windows, command if you're on a Mac, just to keep it smoother. And while you're rotating, and I guess just rotate it and then we'll try to fix it as we're going. So maybe like that. Bring it up a bit. Rotate it here maybe. Let's try to get it as close as you can onto the ruler, onto the middle. And scroll in a bit more maybe. Alright. Um almost Maybe if I, maybe if I take it a bit more. All right, yeah, I know. But if I take a tiny bit more, teeny tiny bit. If I, okay. And then, okay. As you can see, we're getting closer and closer to that. You want to get as close as you can to for them to be lined up perfectly. I want to take on the X, maybe. Try to line it up a bit more. Ooh, it's getting actually farther away. Oh. Hit Command or Control while you're doing this. Makes it a lot easier. All right, now we've got it pretty close. This probably will work, but if it doesn't work, we're gonna have to do it again. But hopefully we're not, because you know, this video can't be too long. I was gonna get boring. Or maybe, hmm, I'll do it like this. That doesn't do anything. Okay, so let's go back to our active camera. Alright, take out the ruler, take out the title action safe, alright, so now we can just delete this null.